We're delving into the four pack from Cloudwater in the collaboration brewers that they're working with. This one is from Queer Brewing. Uh, it's a Citra IPA, 6%. What's it gonna be like? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be reviewing this beer. This is another one of the, uh, these are part of the Cloudwater four pack uh, box, which is £10. You get four beers and they're all by different breweries. Now, obviously, this one is by Cloudwater and Queer Brewery. Uh, this IPA is a collaboration brewed with Queer Brewing using our favourite malt base and yeast and features a hop called Citra. So there's four of these um, beers in the pack and each one of them is made with a single hop. So this is Citra, there's a Mosaic, Simcoe um, and Talus, which was, is the, uh, the alcohol-free one. And they're the four hops that are used in the core range of beers, if that's, you know, the pale, the, the uh, double dry hop, session IPA and IPA. So I hope you've understood that. So they're the, the four hops that they use and then they've split them all down into different ones for these beers that they're, they're making with, with these other people. Again, I'm not quite sure how the relationship is. I know that these are very small independent brewers and they're getting money for it, but I'm not sure how much involvement they are in doing in the actual process. Um, again, these beers are brewed up in up in Scotland at Brewdog. So where Brewdog... Cloud Water and Queer Brewing, where they all sort of where it all comes into it. Again, I think we're using Cloud Waters. Uh, I mean, it says they're using our favourite malt base and yeast, so it's using some of their ingredients, but it's brewed in in by brewed or it's in brewed by the the brewery in brewed uh, by Brewdog um, up in Scotland and Queer Brewing. I'm not sure whether they're just getting some sort of you know free advertising really and getting some get, getting a payment for every one of these cans that are sold as a sort of like you know almost like a charity sort of event it's all very confusing but let's crack this open and see whether the beer is any good to begin with so i thought i'd start with this one citra ipa you know we've had hundreds of citra ipas certainly recently i obviously think about the um the one that we had from buxton the, the Lupus LX Citra, which is in Tesco's as well. Really great beer. So beer in a glass looks pretty pretty nice. Nice orangey, hazy as you like. Got a two finger head and it's it's just off white. It's almost like got a slight beige tinge, tinge to it. Actually, when I look at it, if you can, you can, yeah, you can just about see. It's highly compacted. It's got a slight yellowness to it. Really hazy. Let's get the aroma. Oh, smells really good, really juicy, fruity, lots of tropical sort of aroma there. Yeah, just a whole sort of punch bowl of pineapples and mangoes and lots of citrus fruits in there, lemons and limes. Bit of orange in there. Smells really good. If it tastes anywhere as good as it, sm as it, as it smells, then it's going to be great. Let's get this one down. Cheers, everyone. That's a really nice beer. I do like Citra hop. Sometimes, you know, when you get a single hop Citra, it, it doesn't always work, but when it does work, it really works well. And I think if, if there's one hop that works well on its own, Citra is definitely one of them. It's got a really lovely soft mouthfeel. And then you get those real fruit, juicy fruits, pineapples. You've got a bit of peach and mango in there. Um, then you've got all the citrus fruits, lemons and limes and a bit of orange in there. Very low bitterness and as I say, it's, it's, it's really helped by a lovely soft mouthfeel. Nice levels of carbonation as well, just gives it a little bit more, a little bit of fizz as you drink it. It's, it's, it's a really great beer actually. Yeah, I'd buy that on, on the shelf all day long. It's a really solid beer. I mean, I think that's the, the issue with with these beers. I just hope that they're all as good as quality of this as this, and then that'll be great, because that's worth £2.50. I do think it's a bit cheeky that they've put a 0.5% beer in there. So there'll be a lot of people that will go, well, I'll just stick that in my fridge until 
you know, the time where someone says, have you got anything low alcoholic? And, and, I'll, and, I'll get, and you'll give it to your guests or whatever. But I think most of the time, I think if, if you're buying a alcoholic beer, that's all you want to buy, you don't, unless you're actually going there. So, so I'm thinking, if you just look at it that way, as free beers and a bonus, then you're paying £3.30 a beer. Still pretty good. That's as if they're all good, because I don't think you can, I don't know if they're going to be available on their own, and I don't know whether... I mean, if you go to Queer Brewing, whether you're going to get the same beer through them as well. Maybe, maybe, you, maybe you have. Maybe that's the, the point. It get, gets you tasting it. I think, oh, I really like the Queer Brewing one. I'm going to check them out, check out their website, and I'm going to buy it direct from them. Um, but it's a really good beer. A really cracking beer. To me, it's up there, if not better than that Citra, um, Citra IPA from um, Buxton just so juicy so fruity very moorish and it's just made that much nicer by the fact that it's got a lovely soft almost creamy mouthfeel a really stunning beer and i'm looking forward to more 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 from the this range this four pack we've obviously got mosaic and simcoe they're going to be the next ones that i try but let's get some scores for this one first Okay, the scores are in for this Cloud Water and Queer Brewing Citra IPA, part of the four pack for ten pounds. So you get four four forty mil um, beers. Three of them are six percent IPAs, and then one zero point five percent. This is a really good beer, actually. Um, first things first, though, aroma. Well, the first thing as soon as I opened it and poured it, all the sort of big juicy fruits, pineapples and mangoes papaya um a little bit of um peach in there as well but there's a lot and then there's lots of citrus fruits as well really sort of juicy and fruity and a lovely lovely aroma so i'm giving it 14 for aroma appearance wise well it's a lovely sort of slightly orange um almost well i said i'd almost say that was golden more than orange a, a golden looking um ipa really hazy as you like Lovely little sort of lacing of the glass there. And it, you know, it really looks good. I'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10 for appearance. Flavour-wise, well, similar to the, to the aromas, really juicy and fruity with pineapples and mangoes being the big sort of hitters up front. Then you've got this, a really sort of... Um, nice citrus fruits in there as well it's just at that right level it's it's because of the smoothness i think of the and the, of the mouthfeel it's got an amazing amazingly good creamy mouthfeel to it and that really sort of does wonders for the beer doesn't drink like six percent sort of beer that you can just really down really quickly of which i am doing very very well with now it's just it's just got that nice juice level. There's no bitterness at all. There's not really much in terms of grapefruit on the back end, but it's just all about the upfront flavours of pineapples and mangoes. And I think it's a it's a really excellent example, um, if not one of the best citra IPAs that I've had. So I'm going to give it a uh, 35 for flavour. Value for money. Again, it's a difficult one. This. If it was, if you're looking at four cans for ten quid, which which is what you're getting, um, even though you're getting a zero percent point five percent, then this was going to be work out two pound fifty. That's cracking value. Even though I think that the point five percent beer is not really worth that as much. So even if you're buying three cans and the zero point five percent is a bonus, still three pound thirty. Still a really good deal for a Citra IPA, one of the best Citra IPAs. So I'm giving it nine for value. I think it's is worthy of that and then overall experience well i hope that they do these singly because i i i really think they're great they're great beers either that or i hope that the other ones that we're, we're going to have certainly the two the simcoe and the mosaic ones are going to be as good as this because this is a really cracking beer and i think it's great value and and to be honest you know if i could buy a you know this four pack every time for 10 quid and they're as good as this that's really good value for money and i i, I would buy it all the all day long as i say i think when it comes to single hops citra is a really good example of a citra of a single hop that just has got all the flavors that you want so i think it's great 
lovely soft mouthfeel, and I've said that once, I've said it a hundred times, but it but it is, and I and I think that really always makes a makes a good beer, a good beer into a great beer. So for my overall experience, I'm giving it 16 out of 20. So we top those scores up and we get well, this is a good score for a supermarket beer, an 82. So this is an Iron Maiden beer. It's the heaviest of heavy metal. It's one of the best Citra IPAs that I've had. I mean, I did really, really like the uh, the Buxton Citra IPA that was, um, obviously that was coming in, how much was that coming in? Two pound, well, you could get it for two pound 40, but even then you can buy it. You can buy four cans of that for eight quid. It's I looked at the score just when I was doing these scores and I rated that one 81. So this is a one point higher than it. And to be honest, it is just that little bit better than the than the Buxton one, but still ve but very, very good. I mean, the Buxton one is very good as well. Um, but this is a great supermarket beer and, you know, it gets me excited about it. I, I'd almost go to say that this beer... Well, it, I'll say it now. It is better than the IPA, the um, the core range IPA that you're paying three pound fifty for, the Cloud Water IPA. So that's a good thing. It's not something that's like, oh, it's a good cause. Let's put some sort of average beers in a box and see where we go with it, you know, because hopefully people will buy it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are really good beers, and this, but they could be hidden away. I don't think many people will try them as much because they might feel, oh, do I want to buy four beers and a non-alcohol one? But really, give it a try. This is the first one I've had, and I'm excited for the box. 82 out of 100. It's one of the, you know, it's a great supermarket beer and it's a highly rated by, by me, Rocker, certainly. So I think if you see these boxes of beers, give them a try. This is a good beer and I'm going off to enjoy this one. In fact, I've almost got the taste for this, so I might crack open one of the other ones from the box. And until the next one, keep on rocking.